What up, you Facebook motherfuckers? It's man G-Spot here, finally, finally getting on. I haven't been on in ages, so... Do you know what? I'm not even going to wait for people to log on. I'll just fucking go ahead, because it's very specific what I'm going to talk about. It's only going to last for... Like, uh, it's only going to last about as long as I do in bed, which is about three minutes. Um, so I'm going to talk about the, the, the weight loss drug, um, which is DNP. And I'm going to talk about, very quickly, about um, what I believe is the biggest mistake you can make when you're dieting. And I see it time and time again, and especially now that the summer's coming up, and people are doing uh, transformations and, and sort of getting in that summer shape. I just see, I see why people fail over and over and over, so... Um, I'm just going to touch on that briefly, but the first thing I want to talk about, as I say, I'm not going to, it's nice to see so many people joining us, but um, again, it's very specific what I'm going to say, um, so if you want to check us out later on, so be it, um, it's not something that you're going to log on to see if you don't even give a fuck, mm -hmm. which most people don't. Um, the drug that I'm, that I'm talking about, the fat loss drug, that seems to be making a bit of a comeback, um, and when I say to people, uh, it'll kill you, they sort of think that I'm, uh, it's, a, it's a, a figure of speech. But it's not a figure of speech. It will actually kill you dead. Um, I, I, some people would uh, mail me and ask me for advice on it um, because they know, they know the way that I talk so freely and openly uh, about uh, my own steroid use and the different compounds that I've used mm -hmm. throughout the years. And while I'll never give people advice um, because I don't believe in that, um, what the fuck do I know? I only know what I've done myself. And I've taken a, lot of, of, a wide range of steroids and fat burners and I know you wouldn't really look at me. I've took a lot of fat burners, but I have. And uh, especially with the uh, with the DNP, it's something that I've tried myself. Um, it's its pharmaceutical name is like a dino tri or mm -hmm. something shit like that. But uh, it's commonly and widely known as DNP. And the reason why I'm putting this up is to say some people, even regardless mm -hmm. of me telling, um, it is Jude. It's fucking horrible stuff. And regardless of me telling people that it can kill you, they still ask advice on it and they still want it. So. Very briefly, I'm going to tell you exactly what happened to me the minute I put it in my mouth and, and where I ended up. Um, mm -hmm. I was going for a show back in, I think it might have been around 2007, um, 2006, something around that. And I hadn't dieted very hard. Um, I was two or three weeks out from the show. I was in terrible condition. I, not even, I wasn't even in condition. I was fat. And I heard this drug was fucking the, 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 the best thing ever. It was going to shred fat. And it was like a super drug. And uh, it was called DNP. Um, I sourced it, um, I got a bag of six, six clear capsules, so for anybody out there thinking of taking DNP for fat loss, listen to, listen to what I'm about to say I got it in a capsule and it's a yellow powder, and the active ingredient in DNP is also used in explosives, in uh, TNT, um, dynamite. Um, I knew that before I got it, but when you're hell bent, um, especially if you're doing transformation, or if you're going for a bodybuilding show or fitness, sometimes you you won't you won't hear common sense. So even though that I knew this stuff was an explosive, so I still took it. Um, and here's what happened: I took the I was in this living room. Uh, I took uh, the the first capsule, and within about you know you know what I got it in a clear bag. I don't even know how many milligram it was, but they all seemed to be the same uh, the same strength. Um, so I took a capsule, and within 25 minutes, I mind Sandy uh, Yvonne, I said, do you, ever, do you ever eat something, or if you have a night in a beer the next day, you go, my belly's on fire, my stomach's on fire? Well, my stomach actually felt like it was properly on fire. So much so, and this is no joke, picture the scene, I had to get uh, a bottle of water and pour it on my skin. My skin felt like it was on fire. Um, within five minutes, the inside of my head felt like it was on fire. My eyeballs felt like they were going to explode. My eyes started to protrude, or protrude, like I was uh, somebody maybe like we had really bad high blood pressure. My whole fist started to swell, and uh, I started to hallucinate uh, so much. So I had to go up, get under the shower, turn it on cold while drinking water. Picture the scene. This is insane, and I got under the fetal position. And I had a, that's, that's the way I was, and until eventually we rang an ambulance and ended up going to A&E. Um, they had to give me all our drugs to counteract the DNP. Now, I just took one capsule, and that's the way it left me. I had to literally pour cold water over myself on my skin. Um, it got the, when I was in the shower, I started to vomit. I started to vomit blood. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating any of this, by the way. You, you might read all our testimonies online. Um, I started to vomit blood on the shower, as well as vomit and anything that was in my stomach. And eventually I was vomiting that hard. I started to bleed from the inside of my, my, my throat. 
and eventually we phoned a, an ambulance and I ended up in a, a, an A&E and they had to take care of me. That is what's going to happen with DNP. There's no success stories with DNP. You'll never hear anybody saying that they took it and they got good fat loss out of it in the gram. You literally burn from the inside out. And the, the scary thing about it is there's nothing you can do when you're sitting in the house. It's the, the process has already started. So you're basically at the mercy of this, of this uh, stuff that you've ingested. And that's all in the name of being a lazy bastard, not doing enough cardio and not dieting hard enough. So if anybody's looking for DNP, my advice is to fucking diet a wee bit harder, do a wee bit more cardio and don't try and take the shortcut because if there's a shortcut, one of us boys would have said us boys, meatheads, would have found a way. There's no fucking way around it. You'll get things, I mean, uh, fat burning me myself when I'm going, when I was doing shows was Clembutrol and T3 and they're fucking rough enough in the system. Um... But even then, uh, you know, they'll not go, uh, if you don't abuse drugs like that, they'll not do you anywhere near the damage that one capsule, one, I took a single capsule of DNP, and I swear, my heart rate went through the roof, uh, overheated, again, delusional, hallucinating, vomiting, vomiting blood, my whole body on fire, don't touch it, I can't make it any more clear, it will kill you fucking dead, you'll take a heart attack, um, it can send you, it can actually send you the reverse effect, it can send you into hypothermia, and uh, you can uh, you can die from it, so don't fucking touch it. Very quickly, how can it still be available to buy if it's so bad? Gemma, you can buy fucking guns, cocaine, heroin, rat poison, ketamine, uppers, downers, all arounders. You can buy anything that's still available. I'll tell you why it's still available. That's a cracker question. And Joanne, why that? Oh, by the way, Joanne, you pointed out something there. It's not legal. It's illegal. It's illegal to be ba- uh, It's illegal to buy. It was banned in 1992 after several deaths within the fitness industry. Um, it was banned by the FDA in America, and then the ban um, hit Ireland and the rest of Europe uh, in uh, uh, early 1993. So it's it's illegal. Uh, besides a bargain. Um, why is it still bad, Gemma? The simple reason why it's still available is because people continue to buy it. It's insane. People can if there's a if there's a if there's a market for something, people will continue to buy it. And there's a market for DNP. And the simple reason is is I've yet to hear anybody come out and tell the fucking bad story. And that's why I'm doing this video to let people know the fucking dangers that it will fucking kill you dead. I've taken, I can't even, I can I've lost count of the steroids I've taken. I've taken. Uh, tis, I've taken all sorts of tests, sus, I've taken tritrain, equipoise, sipinate, uh, propionate, vermone, I've taken clan, T3, growth, I've tried insulin, which will also kill you, that's a whole new video, um, I've taken Anavar, Wanastrol, fucking D-Ball, Oxy, I've taken everything, uh, I don't mind saying that, I've taken everything over the course of the years, DNP, and insulin as I say is a whole other video, DNP will kill you dead, end of. So the reason why it's still available and it's still out there is because people will continue to buy it um, through ignorance of not knowing what it is uh, or just or, or through um, misinformation. Um, it was put to me as a super drug, as this great drug. And I thought, well, so that if it's a super drug, it must be super. Um, so there you go. Don't fucking take it. It'll kill you. To get a, a, somebody says there, what fat burners would they recommend? The, there's fat burners going at the moment. There's yellow fury. There's uh, the thermo fury that I have access to, which I fucking totally believe in. Um, all, any clients that I have going for shoes are in thermo fury. Um, and I mean, there's a there's a, supplements. I've said this in the last video. Supplements are that good at the moment. Um, if somebody was sort of him and hand about taking steroids, I would say don't him and hand, don't take them and buy supplements. Supplements now are that strong and that effective. If you do the most minimalistic research, you'll you'll get compounds that are pretty strong. They mightn't just have the effects, and the the they mightn't just be as effective as as uh, steroids and, and different uh, applications. But they're fucking really strong. And there's, I mean, if you were sitting on the fence and taking steroids, there's no reason to buy steroids when you have all these supplements and all these other great things that won't do you any harm. Uh, Emmy, oysters can kill you if she doesn't give it a wee baby wiping first. Um, I've had a few close calls with a couple of oysters as well. Um, and the only other thing, very quickly before I finish this video, is the the, the, the same mistake that I see uh, uh, people making dieting, and I'm not sure if uh, some PTs are addressing it, is... Hold on, Alan Boyce. Exactly, Alan. It's fucking crazy, bro. 
Um, the, the mistake with dieting, here's the thing for anybody starting a diet, starting a transformation. I'm not sure if your PT is going to tell you. I'm not sure if they, they're aware of it or they, they, they have different opinions. Opinions vary on this. This is only my personal experience for myself and training others. If you're eating two meals a day, one of a Chinese, you're going out three nights a week and you're snacking on sweets. Um, you start a uh, transformation, you go down on a Friday, um, you get some diet and you're told you're going to start on Monday. So you go out that Saturday, you don't have to change, you buy on all the food, you prep it, you cook it, it's sitting Monday morning. I promise you, the minute you, the Monday morning you'll be, come Monday evening, you'll be sick looking at chicken, you'll be sick looking at veg. Come Tuesday, you'll be wondering why you're even doing it. Come Wednesday, you'll be getting a Chinese and it's sacked. And the reason being is, we always use the analogy of uh, our bodies being like cars. You put the best food on, you get the best results. Like a car, you put the best fuel on, you get the best results. And in the same way, if you're bombing down the fucking motorway at uh, 70 mile an hour, you don't just slam the brakes on, they stop. You squeeze the brakes, you, 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 you ease the brakes on, and you come to a stop. And the same is for your body when it's uh, used to eating a certain way. And what I would suggest to people who's, who's taking on a new diet is give yourself a week, 10 days, two weeks to ease yourself on. Me, myself, when I'm dieting, you can tell now I'm dieting, honestly, I'm shredded. Um, what I do is I take three or four days, and what I do is I tr on the Monday I try and eat two good meals. That's it. Tuesday, two good meals. And then on the Wednesday and the Thursday and the Friday, I'll try and eat three good meals. But this time I'll take so I, I, I'm going at 11 in the morning, I'm going to eat such and such. At 2, I'm going to eat such and such. At 6, I'm going to eat such and such. And then the next three days, then I add on another two meals and I time them. So by the end of the two what I've done is I've prepared and eased my body. And they not only clean eating, but which is very important, regimented eating, scheduled eating. Your body's used to getting food when it's hungry. When you're hungry, you eat. You release insulin and you carry on that process. But when you... When you're breaking your body into a regimented diet where you're going to be eating at 11, uh, 11, 12, 1, if you're eating at 11, two, or 9, 11, 2, 5, 8, and then going to bed, you just can't wake up one morning and start that and expect your body to, to agree with you and go along with. You have to ease it in. So my advice to anybody taking on a transformation or uh, going for a show or anything anything to do with nutrition, if you're living your life like a normal person and eating when you're hungry and snacking, Take at least a week or two to get under, to ease yourself into eating. Start eating a couple of meals, at, um, a couple of good meals to start off with. Then time them meals um, so you're eating by the clock. And come the second week, you'll you'll be far more used to going there. Look, what time? It's eleven o'clock. I need me chicken and rice. It's five o'clock because the insulin release. Your body then, when you ease yourself on it, your body then will be used to it. And you'll be hungry, and you'll find then that your meals will go down a lot easier, and it won't seem like it's the fucking end of the world, and that you're going to be a big fat hippopotamus like me forever. So there you go. Uh, Declan, how much for the thermal fat burners? Declan, they're 30 pound. I'm a low carb diet since. Uh, Joanne, low carbs, brilliant. Um, you should actually phase, phase carbs out, in my opinion, and put on healthy fats. Um, the reason why it's killing you is because you're just feeding your body enough carbs. Um, they sort of, you're feeding, you're feeding your up. Uh, your body enough carbs they they operate basically and you're just on a thin line there and you have no extra energy joanne i would add on some um add on some healthy fats like peanut butter or uh nut oil which is perfect you just write off your eyes chinese and sweets alan i wouldn't even tell you my diet at the moment here's the fucking funny thing this is ridiculous i had a burger on the way over to do this video i really did cheeseburger have a cheat at the weekend and refeed sean Duddy has nailed it in the head for anybody out there looking the uh uh, they put on with, they take off with, they be a bodybuilder, they be a crossfitter, they run. Sean Duddy, you've had it in the head. I do believe, after all these years, uh, carb cycling in the sense that if you have five or six days living like a strict athlete, you can enjoy your Saturday or your Sunday or both, and Monday to Friday, uh, love like a fucking uh, premier athlete, and then you can enjoy your weekends. And I'll, I'll tell you, I, I do believe that is the way forward. Uh, Joanne Gormley, avocados, definitely Joanne, but I would still add on some uh, nut oil or peanut butter or uh, um, some uh, even cashews or uh, what do you call them? All or the, it, most nuts, it's the nut oil, it's the nut oil and, and the healthy fats, I believe, or even uh, omega heart healthy eggs are really good, but definitely add on some more in avocados. Um, Jelly and McGlinchey just done three big laughing fizzes. Um, did I send you a dick pic or something? Why are you laughing? Um, I'm not going to mention that. 
Um, so there it is. I'll just fuck off now. Um, if you want, to, if you know anybody that's doing this DMP shit, showing this video. I'm not joking you, on the shower floor, vomiting. That's sort of like pretty much every Sunday morning for me now, bent fucking in the fetal business in the shower, vomiting, but that's more from um, Smilix. Right, so there's the video. Uh, your diet, stay away from DMP. I will do a wee video during the week about insulin, and I'll do one more um, then on the week because, again, uh, people have been asking some advice about uh, steroids coming up their show, and I'll come on and... Uh, I'll speak honestly and openly about some of the courses that I've done coming up these shows. I won't say amounts or doses or anything like that, but I'll tell the, the, the good side as well as the fucking many bad sides of fucking many scars here from surgeries and whatnot. So, for the time being, thanks, Joanne, for coming along. Peter Gorman, I but can you drink with DNP? You, Peter, you can drink with anything. What are you talking about? Um, George's Bar, oh, my brother. Of course, George's Bar. Um, Peter, of course you can drink. Fuck me, you can drink when you're training. Actually, well, I, I, no, well, it is true. I did uh, train one day drunk, and it was uh, that was quite an experience. Right, okay, until through the week, because you said about eating a burger before. Jelly, and that is true. <laughs> I fucking had no time. You see, that's what happens when you don't prep. I have no fucking food or nothing. I was diving over, and I called on for a cheeseburger, but and this is very important. I took the gherkins off because high sodium. But the rest of the cheeseburgers are right. Right, I'm out of here. Time being, peace out, perverts. Mm.